we're up and running this evening. All right, so let's kick off. So tonight we're going to talk about spiral roundabouts. The roundabouts are classified in three categories, mini roundabouts, open roundabouts, and closed roundabouts. And the definitions of a mini roundabout is obviously some any roundabout that is marked with a blue sign and the chasing arrows. That's a mini roundabout. And then any all the other roundabouts, the the open roundabouts are roundabouts which you can go into and you will have priority the whole day while you're on the roundabout, where there are traffic lights or giveaway lines in the roundabout. That's a closed roundabout. In other words, it's not open. You can't just drive around it. Spiral roundabouts are mostly in open and closed roundabouts, but they have a specific process that they go through. Okay, I'm going to show you what a spiral roundabout is, and then I'll do a definition as well. And then and then I'll tell you how to recognize. So what I'm going to talk about now is what is a spiral roundabout? How do you know you are approaching a spiral roundabout or going into a spiral roundabout? And how do you deal with a spiral run? This is all really, really important. All right, guys, a spiral roundabout, the big thing about a spiral roundabout is when you take a specific lane, it will spit you out at the right place. Now, okay, so what we've got here is we've got a spiral roundabout that has three lanes. Now, the one thing that happens when you go into a spiral roundabout is you get what is called a promulgating lane. In other words, a lane will start at a specific point on the roundabout. Now you can see where this little red car is. It's coming into the roundabout and it's in the very right hand lane and it's going here. It's taking the third lane in. So if you take that lane and follow it and let's take this red line that's we'll go with this one at the bottom. So coming in from the bottom, you take the third lane in and if you then go to the very inside and you follow that lane, as you pass each, each exit, the spiral will push you out. So following that thing, the spiral pushes you out and then kicks you out at the third exit. So you pass exit one, exit two, and you're kicked out at exit three. Now, the good thing about a spiral is you count the number of lanes as you go in. So as you go in, you cross lane one, you cross lane two, and you go into lane three. And then you all you do is you switch off your signal. So you've gone in with your right signal up to about here. You then cancel your signal and you follow the lane and it will take you to your exit. And then before you exit, you put your left signal and you go out. Do not cross the lanes as you go around in the spiral. So what a spiral does is as you go around, you'll see as you pass this exit here, the spiral then, a new lane is formed on the inside of the lane you're in. So you kicked out one lane. Then as you pass the third the second exit, another new lane is formed on the inside and you're kicked to the outside and then you can just go out. You don't need to do any lane changes because you had the correct lane. Now, what happens if you want to go back on yourself? You just count the lanes. So here you go, one lane, two lanes. Now you've gone into the third lane. So that would take you to the third exit. As you go around, you now put on your right signal again, where the lane promulgates or starts, you then kick one lane further, switch off your signal. When you're in that lane, you will go around and that will kick you out at the fourth exit. Okay, as I'm going to show everybody, I'm going to show all of you how to recognize a spiral, okay? So, how you recognize a spiral is when you go into the roundabout, you will see that there is a promulgation. You see over there. So on the right hand side, a lane promulgates opposite an exit. And here, this is a lane promulgating opposite an exit. 
And therefore, if you want to go to the third exit, you would go in three lanes, one, two, three, and then you would follow that lane and that will take you to the third exit. So basically what happens with a spiral is a spiral roundabout always has a promulgation point of where promulgate means a new lane starts. As you go past the exit, a exit, a new lane starts and you see that little triangle in front of you as you go into the roundabout, you see it on the ground, that tells you you're entering a spiral roundabout. And then all you have to do is count the lanes. And when you get the lane that goes to your exit, you follow that lane and it takes you out of the spiral. Now, spiral roundabouts can be in open roundabouts, which means it's just there's no traffic lights, but they are using them more and more on those major intersections, which we were just, which we were questioned about right at the beginning when we started the discussion. Okay. So how do you recognize a spiral? So let's go through this. As first thing I said, how do you know it's a spiral? What is a spiral? A spiral roundabout is any roundabout that has a, a lane, a lane promulgation point that gradually pushes you out to your exit. So you don't have to cross lanes to reach your exit. That is a spiral roundabout. Secondly, how do you recognize a spiral? You recognize a spiral by the promulgation point, knowing that as you're going into the roundabout, there is a point that the that it will be promulgated. So let me see if I've got another image I can show you guys quickly. This one is a good one. Okay, here's here's another one. You can see these promulgation points here. These are promulgation points in the spiral. Those are promulgation. Those are starting points. So as you come in, you look to the right, you look across to where you're going, and you can see there's a point there where a lane, a new lane has started opposite the exit that you're going. So as you go around, you can now go one, two, three, into one, two, three, and then that spiral will take you out eventually into the third exit. If you have to go around the roundabout, you go into four, you'd go around the roundabout and that would take you out at the exit you came into. So that would be one, two, three, four. If you go into four, that will take you back because there are only four exits to the exit you came into. So you cross, if you want to go to the third exit, you go one, two, three, follow that lane and that lane will kick you out on the third exit. And the same for the first exit and the second exit. So you go one, two, follow the second one and it will kick you out on the second exit. And those are, those are basically, if you look at all these spiral roundabouts, you get these promulgation points. There's a promulgation point. Now this spiral has got traffic lights on it. There are the traffic lights. This is a closed spiral because there's a stop line and the stop line is always, there's a stop line and the traffic light is behind the stop line. And here you can see it, the same thing here in this picture. There's the stop line on a spiral. This is also a spiral because of the promulgation points. And then you can just follow the lane you want to go into. Yes, talk to me, Aya Tundu. Do I say that correctly? Sorry, I'm- not... Yes, please, you did. Uh, what I want to find out is, while on the right-hand lane, going into spiral roundabout, do you have to use the indicator to, to um, um, give an awareness to the person behind you that you're going in and then when exiting, I have to use the, the indicator to, yes. to exit. Because normally what I know is we use the indicator when exiting. Yeah, no, I attend to the moment the moment you go, if you if you go to our roadcraft videos, uh, our, our test preparation roadcraft videos, okay. you will see that normally when you go beyond 12 o'clock on the on the on the roundabout, you use your right signal going into the roundabout. And then you hold to the right as you go around to the right. And then, but on a spiral roundabout, because you don't have to change lanes, you just use your right signal going in if you're going to the third exit. Once you're in your lane, you can cancel your signal because you're not changing lanes anymore. 
But mm. when you exit, before you exit, you must check your center mirror and your left hand mirror and then put your left signal and show people you're exiting the roundabout. You're quite right to say that, Ayurjuna. The principles of what you discussed there were really good. That is, that is the right procedure. So if you just go into normal open roundabout, which is not marked in any way, where you just go into the roundabout, once you go into the open roundabout and you're going to the th any exit beyond 12 o'clock, you should be signaling right and then signaling left as you exit the roundabout. We will deal with those actually um, the next the next the next time uh, the, at the next session the next webinar we will be dealing with with the classification of roundabouts and the signaling procedures and we will discuss that and then in the last section on the third on the third webinar we will deal with many roundabouts shielding propagation and various other aspects of the mini roundabout which is really important to understand as well. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome, Anthony. You're welcome. Good question. Good question. All right. So just so that everybody's aware of it. So what we will be doing, um, please bring your questions to this forum of ours. Let's discuss your questions. If you've got questions, please get them out to, to our people as well. Lariska, um, send everybody to our um, info page, wwbds.london forward slash info. Um, so I just I'll just show this to everyone. Please, 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 please don't be afraid to query us on anything. If you've got anything that that needs clarification uh, on this page, uh, if you look at the top here, this is www.bds.london forward slash info. This this is our page here on this page. We've got the roadcraft test um, videos. These videos are specifically designed to help you prepare for the test. And everybody who attends the webinar can have free access, whether you're a client. Normally, we give this to our clients. But for attending the webinars, we also give you free access to the roadcraft test preparation videos. And there are full tutorials on the roundabouts on those things that will help you get yourself ready for your driving test. Then you can sub subscribe to our YouTube channel. We've done numerous of these webinars that also do preparation, test preparation. You can speed them up, listen to what there is to watch on there. If any questions come out of that, follow us. Then follow, follow us on Instagram. If, you, if you're Instagram inclined, follow us on Facebook. We, we put out a lot of information on Facebook. And obviously, we can find test, tests for you. And this is our FAQ. You can go to our FAQs. And by the way, guys, this is our bot. This is an AI bot. So what, if you, are, you can ask the, the, the artificial intelligence a question, all right? So let us say, for instance, we ask the AI, um, what is your USP. Now, USP means unique selling point. So we asked the bot that, and then it does some thinking, and it comes up with a very, very nice thing. So we're the, this bot is still in infancy. She's still in nappies. We're busy training her. So if you get any interesting questions answered there, please feel free to come back to us and say, um, she got it kind of wrong or whatever, okay? So that was thing. I, I don't need to read that to you. You guys can go and play with the bot if you want. If you get bored tonight and you've got nothing to do, then see if you can ask the bot something they don't. And a person who asks the bot anything about driving that the bot doesn't know, I will give a 10-pound gift voucher to. So if you want to go and earn yourself a 10-pound gift voucher, hit the bot and see if you can get the bot to give you an answer that's either incorrect or that it doesn't know, okay? All right, I hope it's cleverer than what um, the Amazon uh, Amazon bot is, so we'll see if it can survive that. All right, so so this, this page, uh, BDS London forward slash info has access here. If you want access to 
our advanced driving prep test preparation guys this is critically important this is a membership site these videos will save you tons of hours and really really you can watch those videos and you can do uh, help yourself a lot preparing yourself for your driving test the whole series of these roundabouts that we're doing we we we've got some new information that's come up on the spirals now uh, which is also now being made available through the dvsa um, although the dvsa don't classify roundabouts the way we do but they have started using these classifications and and we have been using the classifications for a very long time which actually is, i named these funny roundabout spirals and now i hear everyone's calling them spirals as well Okay, but anyway, guys, um, it's all there for you. Um, please make yourselves at home. Use this Roadcraft test preparation videos. This is really saves you money and time. Really important. Okay, are there any other questions at this stage of the game? Anything else? Anybody else want to ask us anything? Any other questions? Okay, guys, thank you so much for attending this evening and everybody who participate, Ayatundu, Elizabeth, Michael, um, all of you guys, please, thank you very much for participating. Really appreciated the fact that you came. Thank you very much for your participation this evening. You have a great evening and thank you for all your wonderful questions and the fact that you participated. I really enjoyed that.